Quick turnaround, Tommy, only one training session this morning, but how's that been? Well, it's still ongoing at the moment. Um, just having a look at the lads, how they've, how they've returned to train, really. Um, and touch wood, I think near enough all of them are getting through most of the work we want them to do this morning. Um, but it's same for everybody, you know, we all, we've done, we've done the travelling, um, but, you know, every team in the division have got to play two games in, well, like you said, within 48 hours of the last one finishing. So, um, this is what you do pre-season four. You hope you've got enough players fit to get you through this period because it's tough. It is very tough. Um, but we're looking forward to the game, obviously, on the on the back of the result we had at the weekend. And we're mindful that we're, we're going to a, a wounded animal who's had a really good year as a football club. You know, Andrew has done a great job getting them out of that division with a group that he had, without a doubt. And he's, I think he's invested wisely in terms of a lot of experience of this division. So I've no doubt that, you know, they they'll be really at it and it'll be a very, very tough encounter. Yeah, Braintree, you know, they, they caught, raised a few eyebrows with the amount of people they've signed. So they're going to have a very different team to the one that I guess you can watch the footage from, but they'll have had their early season bit that you can see how this new team's gelling in. Does does that cause a few problems in, in how many people they've signed on, on how you guys deal with it? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, the, the players that they've signed that we know about, we know what they bring individually, but, you know, like you said, we haven't seen a lot of them as a group together yet. So I'm sure they're, you know, they're very at ease with where they are in the situation and they want, you know, they know that as soon as they get off the mark, they'll, they'll start climbing, climbing the points table. So, you know, it, it's very, very early on in the season at this stage. Last year, we were on the back of a 5-1 defeat away from home. This time we're coming into the third game with a 1-0 win. So, you know... Everybody will be measuring their own gauges and thinking where they are. We know where we are. We know we've got one or two really important players not available to us at the minute. And all that will do for me is increase competition when they get fit um, and hopefully push the people who are in the team to, to keep their levels. Because so far, I think the way we've started the two games and, and finished the two games, actually, um, have been just about where I want them. You, the other coaches, the players, they always say that, you know, we just focus on ourselves, but we can go into and do that with a bit of confidence from the start we've had, can't we? Yeah, I mean, the, the two games have brought you enough the ends of each spectrum in terms of good, bad and ugly. But, but ultimately, the vast majority of both the games I've been really pleased with. One, because of the, the game was such that we needed to be very good on the ball um, and use our long spells of possession against Forest Green to good effect. And we did that on Saturday. Um, having got ourselves in the lead very early in the game, the, sort of the, the way the game might have panned out sort of changes differently. You're playing away from home, the team you're playing against probably expected us to, to be fairly you know, comfortable in sitting in on the ball, but they didn't allow us that. They, they pressed really strong um, and they were a fit young bunch. So they kept us at it and they asked the odd question, but I think we restricted each other to not much goal mouth action and the fact that we had that little bit of quality when we did, you know, bore fruit for, for us in the end. I think that's one of the important things to take away from Saturday, isn't it? We had that moment of individual quality from Theo's assist and Josh's brilliant finish. And then the team worked together as one and, and showed brilliant team spirit to, to hold on to that lead. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of cliches in football, but it is. You've got to do what's required to win games. Sometimes it's not what you've planned to do, it's what you need to do. And that was the case. Anybody who was at the game who's watched the highlights lately... Well, goalkeeper didn't make a lot of saves. In fact, I think he only made one, and theirs didn't make many either. So it was a it was a well matched game. I said it before, and I think Chris sets his teams up. He knows what he's got, uh, and he, he gets the best out of what he's got. And you know, on another day it could have been a draw. On another day they could have won by a slender. But it was there's never much between our two teams. Um, this is a different animal. We you know we haven't come up against each other um, in my recent history. So you know it's it's a it's a new one for us to to mark off the board really. And with another away game on Tuesday, looking at the fan support that we had at Halifax, such a long journey, 208 of them, that's a brilliant oh, turnout, isn't it? Superb, and they were as loud as the 1,400 of the Halifax fans. So, you know, to be able to, we did it a lot last season, we were lucky to experience, you know, good wins away from home on occasions, and to see the fans as delirious as they were after the game is excellent. Um, I thought I might have seen Glover in the crowd with the drum again, but he wasn't there this year. So. <laughs>